Martina Trevison versus Elena Rabakina is the first quarterfinal for the ladies Miami Open for 2023. And both ladies have had very similar roads to get to this stage. Trevison started the tournament off as the 25th seed and will get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she take on the qualifier Habino, but this was no problem for Trevison, getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-3. In the third round, she take on Lou, the unseeded player who avoided playing Iga Sviantek thanks to Sviantek pulling out. And this was the toughest test so far for Trevison, getting through in a long three-set match, 4-6, 7-5, 6-4, to advance to the fourth round. In the fourth round, she take on the 24th seed, Ostapenko, who had just beaten Hadaj Maya, the 13th seed in the previous round. But this was very impressive by Trevison, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3, to advance to the quarterfinals. We're back in the start of the tournament off as the number 10 seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she take on Kalinskaya, and after dropping the second set, Rabakina was forced to fight, eventually getting through in three, seven, five, four, six, six, three, to advance to the third round. In the third round, she take on Bedosa, the 21st seed, who had had a battle in her previous round, and after losing the first set and being down match point, Rabakina fought back to win in a very ugly match, three, six, seven, five, six, three, to get to the fourth round. In the fourth round, she take on the unseeded Mertens, who'd beaten Kazakina and Martic along the way, and this was by far the best performance from Rebecca for the week. Getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-3, to advance to the quarterfinals. These two players have actually never faced off before, so it's going to be interesting to see how they both match up against each other. If Trevison's going to win this one, she's going to have to use her counter-punching game. She's a very good defender, and she's a very good clay court player, so she's just going to have to make Rabakina play a lot of shots. But she's also going to have to attack when she gets the chance because we do know Rabakina loves to stay in the middle of the baseline. And just getting the ball back might not be enough. If Rabakina's going to win this one, she needs to limit the errors. The errors have been so bad this week from Rabakina. Just too many. She's made so many errors. And she'd be very lucky to get out of the matches with the errors. But... Can't afford to do that against someone as consistent as Trevison. This is a very strange matchup because I guess we expected Rabakin to be here, but with Ash Fiontech at the top of the draw, it could have been anyone. And it's Trevison. I'm going to go with Rabakin to win this one in straight sets. A close straight sets. Hopefully she can limit the errors, but I just think she'll be too good for Trevison in this one. Let me know down in the comments below, though. Who do you think is going to win this one?